I think we all know that the dashboard of WordPress is not the best place, especially if you're handing it off to clients who don't necessarily know what they're doing. So anything we can do to make this a little bit more streamlined and welcoming is a positive thing. And I've covered this in multiple videos in the past, but one of the things I've always been kind of mindful of not everybody wants to use things like Elementor, Bricks Builder, and so on. Some of us only want to use Gutenberg, and we haven't really been able to create custom dashboards with that. Well, today we're going to take a look at one little plugin that allows us to do exactly that. So this is a really simple example of a more welcoming dashboard. You can see we've got a welcome message, we've got help documentation, so if anybody wants to, for example, add a post, they can open this up, they'll have instructions on exactly how to do it, same thing goes for media and so on. This is all filler information, but you get the idea. Then underneath, we've got a support form so they can contact us directly from within their dashboard should they need more help that's not covered inside the documentation section. But this is a really simple example, and you can go to town with what you could do with this, all manner of really cool options. But this is created using, in this example, generate press and generate blocks. But you can use this with the native Gutenberg. You don't have to use anything like this. But if you want to use Cadence or anything, you can do. It gives you more design options. So how do we go about doing it and what tools do we need to do this? We're going to be using WP Admin Cleaner. Now, this is a paid plugin. Unfortunately, I haven't found anything that's completely and utterly free to do this. But there's 50% off at the moment on Black Friday. So if you want to save yourself a few bucks and you want to have access to this plugin, there's a good time to do it. I've got no affiliation. There's no affiliate links or kickbacks or anything else at all. I just think this is a good way of being able to customize your dashboard. Okay, so once we've got that, how do we actually set things up? Well, first of all, log into your dashboard and install the WP Admin Cleaner plugin. Let's open up the settings. Just pop into your plugin settings and license, drop your license key inside there and you'll have access to the full plugin. Now, I'm only going to briefly go over some of the options inside you to customize things, but I'm going to show you and concentrate on this kind of customized dashboard homepage. But as you can see, we can do things like customize the menu structure on the left hand side, the menu order, we can reorder things inside you. We can also hide things based upon user roles. So we may have administrators, editors and so on as part of our site. We can choose any of those roles and then we can customize customize this option on the left hand side to give them only access to what we want to give them access to. And you'll see if we open any of these options up, you can see these sub menus are inside there and we simply need to click on the little eye icon to show or hide that particular option or the parent option. Nothing you haven't already seen in different plugins. So there's nothing really that new inside you. Come into roles and you can see we can apply a super admin and then we can customize our standard admins and give them access to specific things. Whereas a super admin, which would probably be ourselves, the person that created the site, would have full access to everything. So it's nice to see you can do that. You can also hide what plugins the end user can and can't see. So again, we can hide everything or we can just hide specific ones. We can customize the login page by using the admin login page customization options. We've seen the same kind of thing with Ultimate Dashboard Pro. However, I think that is a little bit more polished where you can visually change everything, whereas inside you, you are literally kind of working a little bit blind, but you can customize things and it's very easy to create something very similar to what we've seen using Ultimate Dashboard Pro. For example, you can see we've got this 50-50 layout image on the right hand side. We've got our login form and so on on the left hand side with a custom logo, all those kinds of use things. But you can easily set everything up inside you. And if you want to hide your login page, you can also do that by enabling this and then choosing what you want for your login and your admin URL redirects and so on. Hit save changes, job done. Pretty simple and straightforward. You can also handle things like the user redirection after login. So if you've got user roles that you want to set up and you want them to go to different parts of your site, well, you can easily do that inside you and also hide the top bar should you want to for that particular user role. You can switch on a dark theme and you can choose where and when you want to apply this. For example, we'll just apply to the admin, hit save changes, and now we have dark mode enabled. So if you like dark mode, you can do that from here. I'm going to switch it back to normal though. And that's basically everything apart from the custom dashboard section. So let's go take a look at that. You can see inside you, we can set up different dashboard URLs for different user roles. So user roles can be set up and used in various different ways. So administrator may have a really simple setup, whereas your subscriber, contributor, author, and so on may have more complex kind of dashboards. But you can see I've set this up to use this particular page, and that's basically how easy it is. We create a page and we just link that inside you. So if we go over to my pages, you can see I've got one called dashboard. 
pretty imaginative, I'm sure you'll agree. But inside there, we've got a couple of different sections. We've got the hero section at the top, we've got the help section, which is where we've got this sort of accordion layout, and we've got a contact section, which just has a contact form. And you can use whatever contact form you want. This is Fluent Forms, the free version, but you can use whatever you want. So everything's very, very simple. And all you need to do is build this up in whatever fashion that you want to. Now, for me, I'm using a couple of different options. Like I say, I'm using Generate Blocks for this example and Generate Press. One of the reasons I like using it like this is because I can come into the pages and I can disable all the standard elements, things like titles, headers, footers, navigation, and so on. So we just end up with a completely blank template. However, if you're using just native plain or Gutenberg with full site editing, you can, whatever theme you've got, create a blank template and use that and get the same kind of end result. If you'd like me to cover that in a little bit more detail, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll show you how. But most of us, I would assume, are probably going to be using something beyond just Gutenberg as it is. Maybe cadence blocks, generate blocks, those types of things. And then you can build this up however you want to. So we can use dynamic data inside this template and I'm using a couple of pieces of different dynamic data. This is one of the benefits of using something like uh, generate blocks. You can see we've got the image at the top, which is using dynamic data, and that's using the author's avatar. So that will pull in the avatar they're using, if they are using one. And you can easily set conditions up to hide this if nothing's actually showing up. You can set custom links for where you want this to go. You know, all manner of cool things. You'll notice underneath there, I've got this kind of inline short code. That's using the little code snippet that I've covered in the past, which is from Snippets Club, which is a really great little sort of $20 kind of option that opens up tons of inline dynamic content possibilities. I'll put a link to Kyle's video in the description and also to the actual script itself. Like I say, it is $20, but you can use it on any site and you can work with ACF, if you can use it with Metabox and other ones like ACPT and so on. It's very, very useful, $20 well spent, and it opens up a ton of possibilities. Like I say, I'll link to Kyle's video down below so you can take a look at how you use it. And then underneath, we've just got basic information. We've just got a typical accordion, Inside there, I'm putting my help documentation. So you can see this, I can embed videos inside here. I can put pretty much whatever I want in here. And then at the bottom, we've simply got the contact form. And as you can see, if I click inside there, this is just a free Fluent Forms contact form. And I've just wrapped it in a couple of containers to make it look a little bit nicer. But go to town on whatever you want. Then once we click update or save, once you've created it, all you need to do Let's come out of the page itself. And all we need to do is grab this little code at the end of it, anything after the actual URL. You can pull the full URL in if you want to, but if you were using this as a kind of starter site and you just copy or clone it, it's easier just to take this without the URL. And then all you need to do is go back into your dashboard, back into WP Admin Cleaner, and just simply drop that in where you want. So we may have a different one for the editor. We can simply drop in a different code inside there for the different pages. Same for admin, author, and so on. And that's just how easy it is to be able to create these kind of customized dashboards. And I'm sure you'll agree that this actually looks considerably better when you log in. It's a lot more helpful. There's a lot of information here that the end user would actually find relevant to them, as opposed to a pile of junk about WordPress and whatever plugins you may have installed. I really like how simple this is. And the fact that I can use this with Gutenberg and I can use it with full site editing just makes the whole thing just a little bit nicer to work with. But what are your thoughts? Have you used anything like this? Have you tested this plugin out for yourself or you've got a different option that you use? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, all applicable links are in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts and until next time, take care.